Arthur in Richboro, Pennsylvania. He writes to me and he says, back in the early days of my audio pursuits, I was very susceptible to some of the hype, which seems to have diminished over the years. Really? <laughs> I don't know what magazines you read, but man, I got to tell you, I haven't seen any diminishing of hype. But anyway, uh, but the hype he's talking about is over-engineered turntables and exotic cabling, which I got to tell you, again, I don't know where you're looking, but I think it's even more. But anyway. My question today is about the need for external power supplies that used to be features of some of the better preamps of the day. In my case, I bought and I still have a counterpoint preamp. It's a nice sounding preamp and I still use it on occasion. On the other hand, I have more recently bought some integrated amps, which of course house the power supply, the preamp and the amp in a single box. Honestly, I can't detect any detriment to the single box approach. Has the need to isolate the power supply been made obsolete by modern technology, or is there still merit to doing so? I, hmm, boy. That's sort of a multifaceted question. I think there is progress that's been made in integrated. I know we make an integrated, and we've put a lot of effort into making sure that you're not really losing too much from separates, but I have to say, even despite all the engineering effort that we've put into, if you compare directly our integrated with our separates, the separates win out every time. So while the opposite is true, where integrators used to sound like dog meat. I mean, they were, <laughs> you want to stay away from them. They have come up dramatically, but so have separates. So I think maybe what he's hearing is that back in the day, integrators were terrible. They really were. I mean, they crammed a bunch of stuff together in ways that weren't so sonically wonderful. Over time, we've been able to figure out how to make integrated sound significantly better to where they sound great, and I would agree with him on this, but they still don't sound as good as separates. Now, separate power supplies, I know you weren't specifically talking about that, but you do have a preamp, and that reminds me, years ago when we made our preamps, we used to offer external transformers that were upgrades, and you could buy bigger and bigger boxes that were upgrades to the preamp. Now that worked because the bigger the transformer, the better the sound. I mean, that it's still true today. And I gotta say, there's no way you can put a big enough transformer inside of a preamp. So that's why you have to offer it externally. We got out of doing that because we found ways to mitigate some of that. But still, to this day, if you took one of our preamplifiers, even the best we make, like the BHK, uh, there's a new one we're working on, any of those, and you were to take a massive power transformer and hook it up that wouldn't even fit into the box, you'd get an improvement for sure at just works that way. But anyway, you know, as time goes on, we just try and get more reasonable with our approach and not quite so much uh, in the lunatic fringe. <laughs> but I'm afraid that lunatic bit that has haunted me and a lot of people here at PS Audio probably will never go away. All right. <sighs> Here's to the lunatics of the world. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.